Okay, here we go. Today we're talking about addition and subtraction word problems and how to recognize them and see them and then eventually how to solve them. Now that's the title for today's homework assignment, so I need you to make sure that at the top of your page, in the middle of the top two lines, you have that title. Again, that's why I put it in red to make sure that you copy it down. And also you'll see I have a little reminder at the top right to put the date. So make sure you have the date at the top right above the top line. Okay, here's some notes we need to have for today. First one, when adding the added numbers, or the numbers that you add together, the parts are called add-ins. So we just need to make sure we have that bit of vocabulary. Also, when adding the answer is called the sum, so the total that you get after you add the add-ends together is called the sum. And then I included this little list of tip-off words. Now, not always are we going to have an addition problem that we're going to do when we have these words in a word problem, but oftentimes we will. So if you're reading a word problem and you see the words add, plus, combine, or increase, we usually have an addition problem. Then again, we also have the words all together, in all is a phrase, I guess, in total. Now those words and phrases I put in uh, italics because sometimes we can have multiplication uh, problems or um, other sorts of problems that will have this, but usually if we see those, we're talking about an addition problem. For subtracting, we have the subtrahend is taken from the manuend. I don't even know if I'm saying those right, but those are the terms. So we're going to try and remember those terms as well. They're not quite as important, but I am going to underline those because it's always good to know vocabulary, you know? Now, if you're wondering, how do I make sense of that, that sentence? The subtrahend is taken from the manuend. Well, we have a little example here to the right, so you might want to draw that example and label the parts just like they did. And the next part we have is, when subtracting, the answer is called the difference. So our, our visual here to the right shows all of this together. We have the menu end, and then we're going to subtract the subtrahend, and you'll get the difference. Again, similar here, we have tip-off words, which will usually but not always tell us that our word problem is a subtraction word problem, and those word tip-off words are subtract, minus, less, decrease, and then the little phrase take away. Let's move on and get into some examples. Again, I need you to have all of these in the notes section. So uh, make sure that you have a little title for this section that's underlined called notes. So you, you have your paper well organized and you're going to get full credit for this homework assignment. First example, please have this, this section of your homework sheet labeled example. And then you need to have number one, but again, you can uh, abbreviate or you may just take the notes and summarize on this word problem, Let, but let's read it together. During the first 12 games of the softball season, Tiffany struck out 54 batters. If she struck out six more batters during the next game, how many strikeouts does she have total this season? So this is a word problem. We're going to use Polya's problem solving method. So in red, because I want you to copy down this work with me, we're going to say that our first step is to understand the problem. What are they asking? Well, they want to know how many strikeouts. So we're, we're looking for a number of total strikeouts. That's what our answer is that we're looking for. That's what we're trying to find. The second part is to develop a plan. And we're going to say, well, in this part, do we have an addi addition problem, subtraction problem, or is it another operation that's going to help us? In this case, I'm actually going to look up and see if we have any of our tip-off words. And yes, we have six more. And then the question is asking about total. So both of those kind of tip us off to think addition. So our, our plan here should be to do addition. And we know that if we're looking for total strikeouts, uh, and she just added a couple more from this last game, then, then we're going to add those to the total she already had, or her previous total from the first 12 games. Next, we have to carry out our plan. This is step three. Again, please take all these notes with me. That's an awful looking three, but you can make yours look better. And we know that we don't have to worry about 12 games, and uh, we don't have to worry about the next one was the 13th game. We just need to know that she had 54 batters, and then she got six more. So that's what we're going to add here. And we'll get 60. Fourth, we have to look back and make sure this makes sense. Does it make sense that we're adding? We can reread the question and say, 
well, yes, if we're trying to find the total for the season, then yes, we should add uh, 54 that she already had and six more that she just got. This makes sense, so we're good. And sometimes we'll do check work, other times we're gonna say check for reasonable, reasonableness. And this is reasonable, so we're good. Again, final. finally we have to have a sentence, so we'll say that um, Tiffany has struck out 60 batters. Lovely. Next one. San Antonio Spurs legend David Robinson had 20,790 points over his 14-season career. He ranks 36th all-time in points with 17,597 points less than record holder Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. How many career points did Kareem have? So again, we're going to do our first step is to make sure we understand the problem. What are we asking? We're saying, how many career points did Kareem have? So we want Kareem's total. And two is we need to figure out what's our plan. We need to develop a plan. Now here's an example, and I, I chose this one on purpose. We have the word less here, but we're actually not going to be subtracting. If we read this again, we can tell that the record holder is Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, so he should have the most. He should have more than David Robinson. So we need to take David Robinson's total points, and we need to, need to add 17,597. We need to add that difference and make it an add-in, and then we'll find out uh, the total that Kareem had. So in this case, we're going to be adding, again, even though they had that word less there. So here we go, we need to carry out our plan. We said we're going to take however many David Robinson had, 20,970, and we're going to add 17,597. Once we add these, we have in the ones place 7, in the tens place we'll have 16, but 10 of those tens makes 100. In the hundreds place we'll have 9 plus 1 is 10, those are compatible numbers, and then five more is 15, but 10 hundreds equals 1,000, so we'll carry that. Then we have seven thousands and one more thousand, that's eight thousands, and then two ten thousands and one more ten thousand would be three ten thousand. So Kareem Abdul-Jabbar has 38,567 career points. Four, again, we're going to check, is this reasonable? Should Kareem have more points than David Robinson's 20,000? Yes, if he's the record holder, he should, so that's reasonable, and we can just say Kareem has 38,567 career points. Now we have our two examples done. Again, I'm going to let you loose on some practice problems for you to work on your own, so please label this next section practice. And you, again, need to use this gold text, and that should tell you you need to summarize a little bit. So with the gold text, please uh, jot down a few notes about what the question is asking and some of the details of it, but then uh, you can get to work on these. Again, be careful. Look for those tip-off words, but more so, it's important that we make sure we understand the question uh, to try and figure out whether we're adding or subtracting in these examples. Best of luck, and I will see you soon.